Hello everyone, my name is Jacinta from Posture Tonic. Welcome to another Pilates workout with me. Today's workout is a full body Pilates sculpt. Just using your mat and your body, we're gonna start off with a nice gentle warm up, get into some core activations and then some booty sculpting and some beautiful balanced standing work and then take it back to core to finish. So when you're ready, let's start laying down on your backs into a mini bridge. So I want your feet hip distance apart, you're laying all the way down, relax those arms down by your side, lengthening through your crown of your head to your tailbone in a neutral spine. So a little gap through that lower spine, from here, you're gonna smoosh your back into your mat, roll the pelvis towards you and peel your hips up just a few inches. So you're just gonna hold a little hover, squeezing into your butt. So your sit bones at the back here are gonna wrap in together and you're gonna lengthen out through those knees, over the toes, holding here just to warm up everything through the backside and roll yourself all the way down. We're gonna do two more of those. So exhale, roll, lift up just a few inches. And I really want you to focus on tucking the hips under. So tailbone scoops and lengthens. And we're closing the ribs at the front here down towards the hips. Holding this time for another eight seconds. I want you to energetically drag your heels in towards your bottom. So we're firing up through the backside, into the hamstrings and into that gluteal fold. Last two, last one, and peel yourself all the way down. We've got one more. So go ahead, roll up. We know what to do. We're scooping under ribs to hips, holding and breathing for 10 more seconds. So in this class, I want you to breathe in through your nose, out through pursed lips. So you can imagine you're blowing out a candle or blowing some bubbles. Your inhale is through the nose, rib cage expands wide, and every time you exhale, knit your ribs together, close them down towards your hips. This is it, last three, two, and peel yourself all the way down. Last one, we're gonna roll up and hold. This time, full range. So continue to peel up, 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 up. So you're just up onto the tips of those shoulder blades, and this time you can really lengthen out through those hip flexors, reaching those knees a little bit lengthened, and hold here. Breathing strong, drag the heels to the butt, reach your arms up to the sky. 10 more seconds. Nice little warm up just to get everything connected, connecting into your breath and just focusing on you and this moment. You have five, four, three, two, really slowly melting down from your chest Middle back comes down onto the floor. Your lower back comes down. And then your hips and tailbone. So good. Last one here, we're gonna roll up and hold. Arms come back down onto the floor. From here, lift that right leg up to tabletop. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Take it down, other side, five seconds. So scooping under all those principles, holding strong, three, two, one, foot comes down, roll and massage that spine all the way down. Fantastic, from here, legs back to tabletop. Let's get your abs a little bit more connected with a single leg extension. Extending one leg long on a diagonal line, so about 45 degrees away from you. Back to tabletop and extend, back to tabletop and extend. So one leg at a time. Once you have that everyone, let's float those arms up to the sky. Really sinking those arm bones down into the socket, closing those ribs. All right, once we get warm and you'd like a challenge, we can take the legs a little bit lower down towards the floor. So you can choose your challenge. The lower you take them, the more harder it is through your core. So as we take them down, be mindful not to pop and arch your ribs. You still wanna connect through the front, bring it back in. So choosing that magic spot where you're able to keep that control. So this is our warm up. We've got another two minutes of it. And last 10 seconds in this exercise. Really good. Let's hold a curl in three, lifting the head and shoulders in two, in one. Curl all the way up. Continue with those legs. Single leg extension with a curl. Those arms might like to wave down by your hips 
or if you have that control, arms are lifting up for a little bit more heat. Let's go for 10 seconds here. Nodding your chin slightly down. Woo, things are intensifying quickly now. You're in for a treat today. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Rest the head back down, arms into a letter T. This time squeeze your knees and ankles together. Zip up that core, float the legs off to the side a little bit, lifting one hip off the floor. And breathe out, return back to the midline. Taking it over to one side, one hip will lift off. And using the waist here to wrap back in to center. So I want both shoulder blades stuck onto the floor, just one hip will lift. And breathe out. So focusing on your mid waist here, it's that cinching in feeling through the midsection as we return back into middle. Good work. All right, we've got 10 more seconds to challenge. You could take your legs a little bit further over. We're getting a nice little mobilizing stretch through that lumbar spine in your lower back. Everything's prepared. We're gonna hit those glutes in another 10 seconds. All right, give me three. Two, and one, hug those knees into your chest. Okay, are we ready? Let's roll on up. We're moving into a four point kneel. So hands will go stacked underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Taking a couple of cat cows before we get into it. So rounding your spine and arching your spine. Exhale round, eye gaze on the knees. Inhale, eye gaze looking forward, chest drops down. Give me two more, start to make them as big as you can. Beautiful, let's find neutral spine in between those two movements is our neutral. So where it feels natural to stop and we want to have those abs drawing in and from here extend that right leg along the floor, point the toe. Okay, ready? We're lifting the leg up and down, lift up and down. So stay with this tempo, up and down. One second up, squeeze, one second down, tap. All right, focusing on keeping those hip bones pointing straight down. We're lifting the chest proud away from your mat. <clears throat> okay, giving that butt a squeeze as I said. So we're targeting through glute max. And we're really tightening through that right butt cheek. Mm -hmm, nice. We're going to focus on that left shin being vertical to the floor. So we don't want to sway off to the side. We want to keep ourselves upright. Imagine maybe you're up against a wall. So obviously you're not going to shift your body into that wall. You cannot cheat. So we're lifting up and down. Up and down for another 20 seconds. You're gonna to start to feel some warmth through that right booty, but also the left glutes here are stabilizing, so definitely gonna feel it there. Nice work, you have 10 more seconds. All right, ready for a pulse in that top range in four, three, two. Next one, take your leg up. Teeny tiny pulses, top range. Here we go, 10 seconds. Squeeze, pulse, eight, seven. Get as much burn as you can. Lengthening that leg away from you. So squeezing the kneecap into the quad. Last four, three, two. One, bring it all the way in, well done. From here, you're gonna extend your leg out on a diagonal, so bring it out to about 45 degrees. Now we're gonna drop down onto your left elbow, so you're a little bit twisted towards that working leg. Now lift that leg straight up and down, hitting the side butt here, up and down. Pressing that left forearm down into your mat. So leg lift in this little setup. 
up and down. Same principles, reach out through the toes, lengthening that leg as much as possible. All right, really squeezing through that lateral thigh at the top into that side glute mean. And as I said, you will feel this stabilizing supportive leg as well. Thinking about your core needs to be connected. So have you got your belly button scooping back towards your spine? Okay, 20 seconds now. Up and down. Okay, hitting that sweet spot in that side booty. Hopefully you're there with me. You have 10 seconds. We're gonna do our pulses in eight. Gonna get the leg as high as you can. Pulse it out in four, three, two. Hold it up on the next one. Let's go, pulse and pulse. Just 10 seconds. Make them small and controlled. And breathing through that Pilates burn right here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it all the way in. My goodness, that feels good. Okay, back into our four point kneel. Flex the foot into a donkey kick straight away. We're bringing it in and up. So knee sweeps underneath you and drive up through your heel. Back to where those hips are pointing straight down onto the floor and your chest is proud, spreading the fingers down into your mat, working on your upper body posture as well. And core, always. So initiating that movement, core and then booty. Okay, so we're gonna do this donkey kick and then a fire hydrant and then this glute is gonna be feeling nice and polished. Okay, those that are looking to advance, add a pulse at the top. So you come up, little pulse, and then lower. We can lift up, little pulse, and then lower. You're halfway on this exercise, so still another 30 seconds to go. Seeing if you can challenge with an extra pulse at the top. So if you wanna stamp the roof, so really drive that heel up. You got it. We have 15 seconds left now. Squeeze, squeeze. Let's go 10. Pulsing it in the top range, of course. In four, three, two, take it up guys. Here we go, stamping the roof. Push it up, push it up. Keeping ribs to hips at the front. You've got eight seconds. Let's go, stay strong. Ooh, left side is working strong to stabilize. You're here, four, three, two, and one. Me or my, we have one more. But you're back down onto your left elbow, straight into a fire hydrant, bring it in. Take that knee up and away, bring it in. Back to that side booty on this one. Are we feeling it? I'm focusing hard here to keep the form. Okay, so let's add a pulse in the top range on the next one. You're coming up, if you can, little pulse, and then lower it back down. Lifting up, pulse, and down with control. So we can lift up, pulse, and slowly on the return. Omit the pulse if it's too hectic, and focus on just your lift out and in. 20 seconds left. How is that left butt cheek? A 
We've got one round left of pulses in 10 more seconds. You're nearly at the finish line in this little sequence. So stay with me, five seconds. We have a pulse in three, two, it's pulse time. Take it up, pulse and pulse, 10, nine, eight, seven. Really turn that knee out. Woo, that's four, three, two, one. Bring it all the way in. Give your glutes a round of applause. Well done. Taking it into a down dog. Flush the legs out, little pedal out through the feet here, just for 10 seconds. Press both heels down, walk your hands towards your feet, ragdoll at the bottom, nice and heavy, and roll yourself all the way up to stand. Beautiful work, working, walking into the middle of your mat here now, coming into a squat with a lateral kick. So you're gonna send your hips back and down. Weight equal through both heels. As you stand, transfer over to your left leg. Kick the right leg out to the side. We're coming down, transfer over, and kick out to the side. So continuing here, one squat, one lateral kick. So working on sculpting through that side butt. A little bit of a balance, all right, at the top. Make sure nice equal weight. 50-50 into the legs as you drop it low and kick. Drop it low and kick. Okay, so hands either in prayer or on your hips, wherever you need it to balance. All right, you're gonna feel your heart rate start to rise. Squatting down and up. Another 20 seconds. When you stand and kick out to the side, have a little soft bend through the left knee. Okay, five seconds. Three, two, and one, stand all the way up. This time taking that right leg, step it out, lateral lunge. So you're sending the weight over to the right side, come back in through the middle, take it back out. So I'll show you from the side, weights over to the right, back into center, hips travel over, back into the center. So keep going. We need to launch off that heel to come back into the middle. So it's a big powerful press as we come back in. I'm gonna add layers on this one. So know that you could always come back to this first variation if it starts to get a bit overwhelming or your balance isn't with you today. I know that there's always an off day with my balance, but I'm feeling ready. So give it a go and then see how you're feeling. On the next one, you're gonna come up, balance at the top, take it back out. So your leg's gonna lift up and then step it straight out to the side. Powerful lift up out to the side. Okay, heart rate's getting up, starting to get a little bit harder to talk now. This is working strong. So, hope you're there with me. Take it out, squeeze that butt, lift it up. All right, so that's your second layer. Either stay here or you're going to add on. The next time you come back in, hold. You're gonna arabesque that leg back behind you. You can use some arms to balance. Come back into tabletop, straight back out to the side. So it's one, in, turn it around, two, back to three, tabletop, step it out. So the hips are gonna point forward as we turn the knee out, back in. Here's where that challenge really is on our balance, so focus. Try not to take out my drink bottle behind me. Just adding some external factors in to this little balance challenge, why not? Turn it around. So a bit of hip mobility, really opening up through the hip and stabilizing strong through that left side. Okay, have fun with it. You've got 30 seconds, so if you wanna go back to that first one whenever you need to, you're there. Otherwise, explore a bit of that challenge. Okay, 
Give me uh, 20 seconds. Fifteen to go. Ooh, last ten seconds. Keep it slow and controlled. You're doing amazing, I'm sure. You have to tell me in the comments below if you got to level three or if you attempted it. I want to know. Give me five, four, three, finish off this last one, two, and one. Bring it in, tap it out. Well done, guys. Roll yourself down, step back into a plank, holding strong through your core. From here, shift your weight forward and back. Heels will lift, heels drop back. So ribs to hips, squeezing the butt, pushing down into the floor, but lifting out of the shoulders. Rock it forward. All right, adding on with one lateral step out. So you go forward and back, step out, step out. Forward and back, step it out and out. Rocking forward and step. Well done so far. We are gonna repeat the other side in another 15 seconds. So enjoy this core for 12. Give me 10 seconds. If you need to modify, come down onto your knees. You're in a half plank. We are going for a hold. So either full plank hold or half plank in five, four, three, two. Hold your plank. Squeeze with all of your might. You have 10 seconds, hold strong. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Last eight. Embracing the little quivers, the little shakes in the center. You are working strong. Four, three, two, and one. Knees come down, press into a well-deserved child's pose. Knees can go a little wider. Reach your chest down. Dropping down. Okay, coming into a four point kneel now. We're gonna move into that second side. So it'll be the left leg working now. So come back into a couple of mini cat cows, pause and find neutral spine, abs are connected. So zip them in, extend the left leg along the floor. Hips stay pointing down. Go ahead, leg, leg lift up and down. Squeeze at the top, tap down. And down. Okay, so we do know what's coming. Do not fear, we will be out of it sooner than you think. So keep your form just as good as you did on that first side for me. You're gonna thank me after this, <laughs> please. <laughs> okay, so in it together, squeeze at the top and tap down. So tempo just one second up and down, up and down. All right, so 20 seconds now. Told you, it goes fast when you're having fun. I hope you're having fun. <laughs> Lift it up, down, 15 seconds. All right, ready for the pulses in five, four, let's take it up in two, hold it up in one, pulse up and down. Really focus on squeezing through the smile of your butt but you're clenching, you're squeezing through the whole left glute. Okay, ribs to hips, focus here. Last five, four, three, two, and one. That is one of four done. Coming out on that diagonal line, 45 degrees, dropping down onto right elbow, let's get straight into it. Lift it up and down. Up, tap lightly, but a little bit more pizzazz on the way out. So lift it up and down. Down. 
Okay, so you can imagine I'm like pulling on your big toe, stretching your leg away and out of the socket. So we're creating length and strength. That right stabilizing hip is working too. All right, you have 20 seconds now. Stay pressing down into that right forearm. We feeling it through here? I definitely am. 10 more seconds. Here we go. We're gonna pulse it up together in eight. Ready? In three, two. Hold it up, pulse it at the top, and up and down. Woo, eight. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it in. Woo, quick little release. Gonna drop down, uh, back into four point nail. We're gonna go donkey kick straight away. So knee hovers off the floor, driving your heel up. Squeeze, return back under, and lift. Okay, so you're definitely over halfway in this little series. Okay, so you're trying to focus on keeping those collarbones wide, so you're a little bit connected through the back, so we can keep the perfect posture. You are 30 seconds in. Add your pulse at the top. Pulse, pulse, lower down. Pulse, pulse, lower down. So bonus pulse at the top if you can. You've got 15 seconds here, team. Stay with me. Okay, ready to pulse in the top in three, two, Take it away, let's go, pulse and pulse. Dig the heel up and up and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. It's fire hydrants in one. Bring it all the way in, drop down onto the elbow, straight out to the side, back in, out to the side, return underneath you. All right, last one in this setup, then we take it to standing. You are kicking goals here. I'll tell you when to add the bonus pulse at the top. All right, we're going for that pulse at the top range. Pulse it up, up and down. Up, pulse and down. I'm so looking forward to standing up in like 20 seconds time. Woo, we'll be out of this shape in so, so, in what, what am I trying to say? In not very long at all. I'm so focused on that finish line. Let's get there together in 15 seconds. Okay, last eight. Just one round more of pulses in four, three, two, take it away, let's go up. And up, 10. Ooh, yeah, last five, four, three, two, and one, bring it down. Ooh, that was so good, guys. Have a little release out, you have a down dog now, so press the hips up. Stretch it through. Hands walk towards your feet. Legs are a little straighter this time, head is a little heavier. Scoop through the belly, restack your spine to stand tall and proud, walking into the middle of your mat. You have your squat lateral lunge. Feet are a little bit wider than your hips. Send the hips back and down, stand up, transfer to that right leg, kick it out to the side. One squat, out to the side. So still targeting through the glutes here, but starting to get into our little balance challenge. I feel like we got through the hardest bit. 
I'm proud of you guys. Okay, so just showing you from the side. Again, hips are down, legs are equal. Stand up and kick to the side, down through the middle. Good work. Remember, you need a micro bend into that right knee as you transfer over when your hands can do whatever they desire. Twenty seconds now. Remember that heart rate's going to pick up. Let it creep up. Get a bit of cardiovascular fitness here. Okay, fifteen seconds. We have a lateral lunge coming up in eight. I'm going to step out to the left side. And four, three, two. Come all the way back up. Take that same left leg out, travel the hips over, back through the middle. So nice and simple to start with. So have the knee coming out slightly on a diagonal. Power off through the heel to come back in. Exhale, come back in. Inhale, stretch the inner thigh, come back in. So remember this is the one we're gonna add the layers in. You have three options. You can always come back here when you fatigue or if the other options aren't for you. So let's do it, we're gonna come back in and it's a tabletop balance. Take it back out, so that's your first challenge. Seeing if you can launch off tabletop, take it back out. So have a little bit of a snap up with the leg. Working into those hip flexors. Working on our balance. So stand and lift up out of the hips. Stand proud and balance over. Who's ready for the next round? The next option is adding our arabesque in. So I'm gonna give myself some space. So we're going over, we go up, option, turning that knee out, balance. Come back straight to tabletop. So that leg is staying lifted. The only time it touches is here. We keep it up, turn it around, use those arms for balance, bring it in. Okay, so give it a go. Always visualize I'm on a beam. So keep me balanced. You don't wanna fall off the beam. Focus on something in front of you. Step it out, keep going. I'm so nervous I'm gonna knock my drink bottle over and I need that hydration in like after this. So that's my goal, not to drop it, not to kick it. Okay, so remember you're having fun with it. Please give it a go. Get a little playful. You and we've got 30 seconds left. Exploring for 30 more seconds. You can go for another 25. Remember that snap up through the middle. Slow controlled swivel of the hip. Okay, last 10. Let's take a water break in eight. Get a little treat in four. Make this one your last one. Try and make it your best. Try not to fall over. Last three, two, and one. Well done if you have water. Take a quick break. We're going to take it on the floor for some abs in 10 seconds. <clears throat> All right, hope you're feeling good. Wet or water, who knows? Let's take it down onto the floor. Okay, so lay all the way down. Stretch your arms, stretch those legs. 
and just stay here for three, lengthening out as far as you can, two, and one, close those ribs down, arms up to the sky, exhale, nod your chin to chest, let's try and scoop and roll all the way up, continuing to stretch the legs, reaching forward, curve and round through the spine, sit up tall, now I want you to hinge back, back, back with a straight spine, and then round your back down, melting down onto the ground. So again, arms up to the sky, close the ribs, nod chin to chest. Finding your hamstring stretch, reaching forward, so curving the spine. Keep that curve, pull the ribs back, but reach the fingers in opposition. Restack your spine as tall as you can. Keep the tall spine, hinge back. And then you'll find a point where you can't hold it anymore and you need to curve that lumbar spine down, your thoracic, your upper back, the head comes down. Let's just do five more of those together. Reaching long, creating length through the back of the legs, creating length through your spine, control through those abs, and then massage yourself all the way down. Beautiful work. Four more. Breathe out. Press the legs down into your mat to help you lift. Stretch. Curve, re-spine. Re-spine, re-roll. Ah, come back up. I'm just making words up. Rolling down. Give me another three more. Reaching. Roll, restack. That was the word I was looking for, restack. Come back. And down. Okay, so two more. Mm -hmm. And roll it all the way up. And tall and proud spine. And then release, come all the way down. You have one last one. Let's try and do this one even better than your first. Nod your chin to chest. Slowly scoop and roll all the way up. Press the feet into the mat. Okay, reach and lengthen a little bit further. Roll back, curving, curving. Come back upright. Last one where we hinge back. Ribs down to hips. Keep going as far as you can and then release all the way down. Fantastic, hug your knees in towards your chest. Curl your head and shoulders up. And then from here, extend your legs, extend your arms overhead here. Circling the arms, come back to your ball. Here we go, double leg stretch. Extend the legs, extend the arms, squeeze down into the belly and circle. 20 seconds of double leg stretch. If the neck is um, not in your favor today in a hovered position, you can rest your head down. Okay, so I want you to really squeeze your legs together as if they are one leg when you lengthen. You're nearly there for class. Let's work strong to finish. We have one last little finisher and then a stretch. Let's go five, four, three, two, and one, hugging your knees in towards your chest. Have a little rock and roll, get some momentum. You're going to come into a plank. So the next roll, cross your feet over, hands down, step back into a plank. You're in a plank, okay. Modification, we're gonna do a burpee. I'm gonna show you the modification. We're gonna step out to the side, out to the other hand, come all the way up, stand. Back down through the squat, step back into your plank. So we step wide, wide, stand back up, we get low. So either stay here if you'd like to advance, you're gonna jump in and up to stand. To plank, jump it in and stand. So stay there, I want you to choose your option and then take as many options as you can as I start to layer in. So we've got about one and a half minutes on this last exercise. So can we make it a bit more harder every time you're in a plank, coming in for six mountain climbers and then either step or jump in, stand back up. So first one is your mountain climbers to advance. Okay. After your mountain climbers, if you'd like a little bit more, stay down in your plank, it's a shoulder tap 
Shoulder tap, step or jump it back in. Running those knees in. I want you to give me as much energy as you can in this last finisher. Okay, for those that are looking for a little bit more bite to finish, you're gonna add on, so still mountain climbers, shoulder taps, but you're going for a push up as well. So either on the knees or in a full. Okay, you've got 45 seconds. They are your options. Let's go. Okay guys, this is it. Final bit of work. We have a cool down to finish. You have 25 seconds, that is it. Give me everything right now. Add everything on, give it a go. You could also do all of these on your knees. Just try your hardest to finish off in your max effort. Let's go. Okay, you have 15 seconds now. Can we get one more round out? Let's go. Run, run, run. Whew, give me five, four, three, two. Work right to the end. And one. Whew, well done, guys. Take your knees wide. Stretching those arms long. Bring your breath back. Reach your arms over to the right side. Stretch down into your left armpit. Pulling down through and back to your left hip. So stretching down the side of your body. That was hectic at the end. Very good job. Take it straight to the other side. Pull down and stretch. Okay, coming into a kneeling position, rolling out the wrist. We were a little bit on those for our four point kneeling setup. So give them a bit of a love. Roll them out. And then you're going to have your hands together and interlaced, push down into the hands and making big waves. <clears throat> so you're getting a stretch through the fingers and the wrists and mobilizing other way. Coming back up and just kind of do this motion. I'm not really sure the technical word of this. <laughs> just flick it from side to side and shake them out. Come back into your four point kneel, rock yourself forward and back to stretch those wrists a little bit more. Last one, turn your fingertips towards you. Have your hands, your palm, heel of your hands pressing down into your mat and just rock back before they lift off. We stop coming forward and rock back. Just five, three, Two, and one, well done. From here, just crossing over right leg onto your left thigh, stretching out that glute. So well-deserved stretch right here. Whew. As always, please let me know in the comments how you're feeling after this workout. I always love to hear how it went and how you're feeling in your body. And you can just add on your favorite exercise of the day. I wanna know. So hold for another three, roll the ankle, two, and one, other side. Stretching the glute, pressing down. So your knee, sorry, is pressing away, rather. Okay, roll the ankle, three, two, and one. You're cross-legged, you're seated. You're gonna stretch those arms up overhead, interlace the hands, press them up to the sky, shrug your shoulders up. Big breath in, and then exhale, shake it all off. Well done, guys. Please let me know in the comments how you're feeling, and please subscribe if you haven't yet already. This really, really helps my channel. And give the video a like, that also helps. So guys, I'm gonna see you back here for our next workout really soon. So I'll see you then. <laughs>